What's up guys and welcome back to this awesome spot in Cotter, Arkansas. Uh, so today we're flying the iFlight ProTech 35 again because it's the only drone I own. But uh, we're going to have some fun so let's go set this up. Got to make sure my hair looks good. Okay, we are connected and we're armed. First pack of the day, let's see how this goes. Probably shouldn't be recording this to be honest. The <laughs> first pack of the day is always kind of crappy. Beautiful weather. It's been so cold here recently that my packs have been dying like just, I don't know, two and a half minutes, one and a half minutes, just really quickly. But it's nice to have a warm day. It's a nice thing about the south is you can kind of get away from that cold weather. Did just see somebody pull up. So hopefully they're not bringing a child to play here, but. We'll fly as long as we can. Boink. Oh, we're in horizon mode. That explains it. Now we're in acro. Thought it was acting weird. I have a habit of just bumping that and then not checking it, but you should definitely check that. Yeah, there we go. So I actually do find horizon mode helpful sometimes. Uh, I think flying inside, it can actually be pretty helpful. It burns your battery a little faster because it has to think a little harder. But it's nice to not have to worry about bumping into things when you're inside, especially if there's a bunch of breakable stuff around. I haven't flown inside too much, but that is the point of this drone. It's not really made for outside. It's made for a little bit of outside, maybe like proximity to, I don't know, someone running or biking or dirt biking, something like that but it's not quite fast enough to keep up with a five inch. Man, battery is almost drained already, that's surprising. We're at 3.5, let's see if we can milk a little more out of it. Yeah, 840 milliamp hours. That uh, doesn't seem like much. Does that mean my batteries are going bad? I think that's what that means. If you know what that means, comment below. I'm using 1300 amp milliamp hour batteries, but if I'm only getting 800, I think that means they're going bad. That's frustrating. It is straight up warm today. I don't know why I'm drinking coffee. I don't need it. Maybe so it just helps me talk faster on camera. I don't need this thing either. Man, hard to believe it was 20 degrees just, what, two days ago? Yesterday, actually? All right, pack two. Let's see if we can get a little more than uh, 800 milliamps. This is a little hammock area. It's a pretty cool spot. I've never seen one of these before. I'm not quite skilled enough. Oh lord! Oh lord! First crash. That's gonna be a bit of a walk. Alright, we back. All's well that ends well. Nothing damaged. You know, honestly, I probably could have taken off, but sometimes, like, if the camera's covered with leaves, I'm like, I'm not sure if I should chance this. I should probably just be safe. And we're at 3.8, so a little bit of time left. That honestly is the worst part of FPV is the flight times are so short, even if you're being really careful. With 4S batteries, you're looking at, I don't know, maybe three to four minutes if, if you're flying really carefully. Success supposedly makes that better.
Didn't start the GoPro. <laughs> Shocker. Never remember to start the GoPro. Too bad, because I'm getting a sweet orbit of this uh, little jungle gym thing. I only have point one left anyway, so... Anyway, yeah, battery length. So, 4S batteries, uh, they just don't go very far. I'm really looking to upgrade this. I think I'll probably replace the motors with some uh, success capable motors. And that way, when I build out a 6 inch 5 or a, a 6S 5 inch build, I'll already have the batteries I need. <laughs> Doing some leaf blowing. <laughs> Alright, it's starting to get a little better. Let's bring her in. We back. So, third pack. Steadily improving. There's more people around now, so definitely have to avoid them, but luckily FPV is not too popular in Arkansas, so I think most people, there's kind of a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, people are just kind of interested in what's going on, more so than like, you go to LA or something, people are like, nah, you can't fly here. They know what it is, they're tired of seeing it, but here it's kind of a novelty uh, still. It's just kind of like, oh, what's, what's, what's going on here? So I will take advantage of that. <laughs> if you're curious what I was saying in this part, don't be. It was about two paragraphs of a couple sentences that didn't really string together and I ended up saying nothing at all so now you can enjoy my voiceover it kind of makes sense that I wasn't talking over this part because I was concentrated super hard on doing just like a bunch of freestyle stuff so like some swoops and some orbits and it actually turned out pretty cool so it's kind of a shame that I wasn't talking at all Still no narration, that's that's ridiculous. It's like the whole point of this is to be a talking head and I'm not talking at all. I'm just kind of flying my drone and just staring at the camera basically. <laughs> People must think I'm crazy. Do it. I hear some people behind me, let's spy on them. They have no idea I'm looking at them. Definitely have to watch out for that kid. If he starts playing on the playground, I'll have to put it up. Or at least go somewhere else. Kind of why I like to come this time of day is there's rarely anybody around. Whereas if I came at like 5 o'clock or something, there would definitely be people around. I think my batteries are coming to the end of their life. I'm at, yeah, 750 milliamp hours right now, and I'm already getting low battery alarm at 3.5 volts. So that's a bummer, but it is what it is. Bring it in for a landing. Looks like that kid is coming closer, so I'll have to stick a little close. I won't be able to fly through any playground equipment, but maybe I can go up and around the uh, the badminton net. Uh, yep, GoPro is on. I never remember it, but this time I did. Okay, armed, and let's go.
like to get better with orbits. They're not as easy as they look. Well, I watched a video of Mr. Steel explaining how to orbit the other day. He makes it look so effortless, but it is not that easy. Granted, maybe this drone just isn't the best for it. This is kind of for different stuff, you know? But, uh, he made it look super easy. Obviously, that man has poured many, many, many hours, hours, days, probably years into flying FPV. Whereas I have not. Kind of wish I kept track of how many packs I've been through, but I'm just not that person. <laughs> Whoa! I thought I was going in the sand. You know, I was digging through beta FPV, or no, beta, beta OS, beta flight. That's what I'm looking for. I was digging through beta flight the other day. And I found that my uh, throttles, or my motors, are limited to 65% throttle, which seems, like, incorrect. I think that's what they do if you fly 6S batteries on 4S motors, but um, I'm not sure that's correct for a 4S drone with 4S motors. Again, 720 milliamp hours. Yeah, I think these batteries are going bad. I wonder if that's just all the time I put into them. Maybe I'm just charging them too much. We're at 880 milliamp hours out of 1300. Anyway, right. I swear nobody was here at all. And then I pull up and it's like, oh, 40 people are here now, including 20 kids that are all playing where I want to fly. But <laughs> that's how it goes. I suppose the alternative would be to go to an FPV park, but we're in the middle of nowhere, Arkansas. I mean, there's not much around here, so they definitely don't have a uh, FPV park. So one thing I have noticed since I increased the power to 1200, allegedly, is uh, I am getting longer range, I feel like. I haven't really tested it just because the long range puts me over the water. But, I mean, I'm full uh, three bars, three out of four, yeah, full signal. So I'm, I'm getting pretty good signal. I mean, it, the 1200 from 700 is almost double, so that definitely should extend it a fair bit. I would hope it does. I think getting a longer whip antenna would help too. They're only like eight bucks, so I need to just go ahead and get one of those. If it costs that little, like, and it can improve it significantly, then. That's definitely something you want to do. Oh, top of the... Oh, no, I can't see. <laughs> uh, leaf landed on my uh, my camera, and I couldn't see. All right, let's try and fly. There we go. Cool. Got it up in the air. So the uh, DJI... Let's see, what do they call it? OOS3, I think it's called. Uh, came out today or was announced today, so that seems pretty interesting. Uh, it would be really nice to fly without a GoPro, but DJI just doesn't make like their cameras aren't that good. I'm not like that big of a fan of them. They definitely have problems in the shadows. Not to say the GoPro doesn't, but I mean GoPro is just kind of leading the field with that kind of stuff. try this. I could definitely tell I'm trying to do freestyle things when this drone is definitely not a freestyle drone. It has like 
elements, but it is definitely meant for slow, just trying to hover. So I've kind of geared my, uh, my tune towards that. Everything reacts a lot slower. Maybe that throttle limitation of 65% is a good idea. I still haven't flown indoors too much just because, I mean, since I've had this, I haven't really been around in indoors. I know when I visit my parents on, uh, on Christmas, I'll definitely be flying around their house. <laughs> So we're at 820 milliamp hours, and I'm just starting to bump 3.5. So that's pretty disappointing. I think I'm coming to the end of these batteries' lives. Maybe I'll try 1500 next time. I also was doing kind of an aggressive charge at uh, 2 amps when they're 100C batteries. So I hope that that wasn't a issue. Oh, this is weird. I actually just noticed. It says disarm in my goggles, although obviously it's not disarmed and everything's showing. So, 1000 milliamp hours with the low battery beep. Let's bring it in. That's so strange. It says disarmed. Okay, no, it went away. Weird. Sometimes weird things pop up like that. I don't, don't really know why. They just, um, and it kind of seems like little bugs. They don't affect flight. Um, typically, they don't affect flight. In this case, it didn't affect it. And as soon as I disarmed and rearmed, it went away. So just sometimes weird things happen. Another testament to iFlight. I don't see anything broken. Everything looks good. GoPro looks good. I mean, GoPro's broken already, but it still looks... Oh, I take that back. I did lose a propeller. It's kind of weird how you lose propellers sometimes, even though it's ducted. But that was actually a propeller that looked pretty bad, so I probably need to replace that anyway. But not too bad. This thing can really take some hits, especially when I'm flying it. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, come back for more, and we'll definitely be back here again.